Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm in a little bit in shock. I, I just always thought of myself as Puerto Rican, you know, half Puerto Rican. <laughs> I didn't think I was, uh, my family was originally from Spain and slaveholders. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So how are you feeling, my friend? Um, I just, um, I think it's actually pretty interesting that um, my husband and I have shared roots. Yeah. So I, I do appreciate that. Um, and I think it's great for our children mm -hmm. to know this information. Um, I guess it's a fact of life that uh, this is how some people made their living on the backs of others. But as it turns out, Sonny's ancestor was not about to be deterred. Sonny, you're looking at voter registration rules from the years 1886 to 1894. What do you see? Uh-oh, he didn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Republican, 1886, coming dean. All right, guys, so we got to react to this pretty hilarious clip from the Cackling Hands on The View featuring racist Sonny Holston, who is going to find out <laughs> that she is a descendant of slave owners, okay, which is hilarious because I've done uh, videos about this before of the woke revolutionaries always boohoo whining crying racism, especially against the white man, getting upset and mad when they figure out that they were, in fact, <laughs> descendants of slave owners, okay, or people in the Confederacy or white people. Uh, you know, again, it's pretty hilarious to react to these people uh, actually learning real history. And she found this out after going on an episode of Roots in which she admits that, hey, I'm scared to go on an episode because, you know, I'm afraid of what I might find, right? I might not like it, okay? I might not like to learn real history. But she did. And not only did she find out that she is the descendant of slave owners, but she's also the descendant of black Republicans, okay? Particularly black Republicans that were... Uh, trying to vote in the South despite persecution from racist KKK Democrats, okay? There's a whole episode on this. I watched the episode. It's actually pretty hilarious to see Sonny Holsey being stunned by the fact that not only is she a descendant of slave owners, but also of black Republicans, okay? Of Republicans. She's a descendant of Republicans who, again, were facing uh, persecution from racist Democrats. Again, it's amazing how the war worked. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and play this clip. But before we get into it, we have to have a word from the sponsor of this video, Biotrust. If your New Year's resolution is about health and fitness, you're not alone. A recent study shows that 50% of Americans want to improve their fitness this year by exercising more this new year and more specifically control their weight. What most people forget though is that weight is more easily controlled in the kitchen and not the gym. That is why myself and thousands of others are starting to use this amazing supplement to help control their weight. It helps control appetite, manage excess weight, reduce fat, control cravings, and increase energy by using unique science-backed ingredients formulated for reducing body weight. The super nutrients inside help reduce fat mass and weight circumference while also increasing lean body mass all of which is helping countless people reach their New Year's goals. Try it today for a whopping 51% off this New Year's. Plus, receive free VIP live health and fitness coaching for life, two free new ebooks titled Top 10 Foods That Burn Belly Fat and Top 8 Exercises to Reduce Belly Fat, a 60-day satisfaction guarantee, and free shipping. Order this today before the offer ends by going to trimwithpatriot.com that's trimwithpatriot.com you know i was really reluctant i don't know how you felt when you did it whoopi but i was really reluctant to do it because i just sensed that there could be something in my family history that would be um disappointing um negative Negative, yes. I thought I was going to have that kind of moment. And Skip had asked me to do it for a long time. And I finally decided to do it because I thought it'd be helpful for my children and my children's children to know what their real, real history was, you know? But what I found out was that my mother's family, while um, they are Puerto Rican, they actually originate from Spain. And the reason that they moved to Puerto Rico is because the slave trade had been sort of 
canceled in Spain and then Curacao and then they moved all of their slaves to Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. And so the biz the family business I had been told that they were printers and journalists, but they were in fact enslavers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so this woman, right, who's a racist, okay, uh, is the descendant of slave owners, okay, who were so pro-slavery that despite the fact that in 1817, Spain signed a treaty with Great Britain to abolish the transatlantic slave trade, uh, they decided to come over to the Americas in order to continue to practice uh, enslaving people, okay? So um, she's a descendant of these people. I mean, if you trace her lineage back even further, uh, she may be a whole conquistador, right? Who knows, okay? But I'm just saying, you know, these people that they complain about so much, the so-called colonizers, well, it seems to me that she's a descendant of the so-called colonizers, right? It's amazing how that works. I'm telling you, a lot of things that come from the left, they're just projecting, right? They're projecting their own history. They're projecting uh, their own feelings uh, onto other people, okay? Because again, this woman sounds like she owes me reparations, right? She owes a lot of people reparations okay i'm just saying i'm just saying she needs to be paying out she needs to be emptying out her bank account and she probably has a lot of millions in her bank account uh she needs to be emptying out that bank account and giving people some reparations right give people some reparations let's keep it 100 um and my mother <laughs> so it's fell over the audience it was deeply disappointing <laughs> yeah so you've seen that clip right and now we can watch this clip right here a follow-up clip so they, Sonny, how the does conquerors. this change you, though? You mentioned your mom was upset and this was shocking and maybe deep down you kind of resisted it. How has this changed you knowing what you're hearing now? You know, I think at first I was deeply disappointed. Um, the I still, slave thing is a bummer. It's a bummer. Uh, and I, and she I can control and, it. And I, I still believe, I know, but still, I still believe in reparations, like, by whoa. the way. So y'all can stop texting me and emailing me and saying that I'm a white girl and that I don't deserve reparations. <laughs> Well, you don't, right? You don't. I mean, if anything, you should be paying the reparations, okay? So, I mean, you know, if you want to be consistent here, um, you should be emptying out your bank account to the next black person that you see on the street. But she's not going to do that because she thinks that she's the victim, okay? And she will probably continue to pull the victimhood card, even though her ancestry suggests that, hey, you descend from people who were... Uh, actually conquerors, okay? You descend from people that own the slaves. Um, and, you know, she does have some uh, slavery ancestry as well too, but still, regardless, um, your history suggests that you're the one that actually has benefited from all of these things that you complain about and you boohoo whine and cry about so much. Again, it's just amazing how that works. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't think that she deserves reparations at all. <laughs> That's, I still believe oh, that. Someone did that to him? Yeah. I don't know what? who sent her a thing telling her she was a white girl. Okay, it's, it's, it's too much, people. But clean off your television screen. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but e even if she is white, which, I mean, I don't know. I mean, she probably is genetically mostly white, um, Caucasian. Um, why, why is that a bad thing, right? They, they're talking about this as if it's a bad thing. The reason why people are trolling her is because of how much she tries to make it seem like that, you know, she is a victim of racism because she's black or a so-called person of color and that white people are so evil when she has white ancestry, okay? She has Caucasian blood running through her veins. I mean, just look at her mother, right? You guys tell me whether or not uh, Sunny Holston is really a white lady, right? <laughs> to me, that's what it seems like, but there's nothing wrong with it, okay? There's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. I'm not even judging it as a negative thing. I'm just saying that it's so silly for these people to get caught up on the race conversation and so-called white supremacy and, you know, slavery and all this other stuff. You're a descendant of white folks, okay? You descend from these slave owners. Again, it's just, it's amazing. So, you know, again, I'm trying to figure out exactly what's so bad about this, but I do understand where the trolling is coming from. She deserves to be trolled, and it just shows you how silly this race conversation is. These people that are boohoo whining and crying about you know, racism and the white man, uh, they're descendants of the white man, they're descendants of slave owners. Um, and, you know, to me personally, you know, it's just funny watching them get so upset about finding out the true history of where they come from. It's just hilarious to me. It's, that's a lot. So I, 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 I still believe in reparations. I still believe this country has a lot to do in terms of racial justice. Um, but what I will say, Sarah, to your question is that I feel that um, 
I'm enriched by knowing that history. Yeah. I, I'm enriched, and I'm enriched by knowing that my family has come so far from being enslavers to my mother marrying my father in 1968. Well, yeah. That's yeah, so you see now you heard that. Okay, Sonny Holston's family, um, at least on her mother's side, that is, um, they were so pro-slavery that they fled the abolishment of slavery. They literally went to another country so that they could continue to have slaves, right? That's how pro-slavery they were. So with that being said, Sonny, you definitely owe reparations, right? According to your own arguments that you've made, uh, I don't think you should get paid out. Uh, I think that you should actually be the one paying, okay? So I want you to put your money where your mouth is, okay? Now that we know that you are the descendant of a colonizer, uh, you need to empty out your bank account and give it to the first pure blood that you can find uh, on the streets, which, you know, good luck finding a pure blood because I don't think that many people in the United States are really pure blood of any race, to be quite honest with you, which again is kind of the whole point of how silly the race conversation is with these people that want to boohoo whine and cry white supremacy, but yet they are descendants of the people that they boohoo whine and cry the most about. Again, it's pretty fascinating stuff. Could not have uh, had a more ironic story here about Sonny Holston and her family. It's pretty hilarious how this works. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.